Hey, what's going on YouTube? We are in the neighborhoods directly behind Wilson Avenue, right next to Binghamton University's Pharmacy School here in upstate New York. Welcome back to Upstate Speed Test. Today we are going to see if this smokestack mounted macro, try saying that three times fast, can break gigabit speeds with the extra spectrum that T-Mobile has gotten out of auction 108. So uh, stick around, it's gonna be an interesting video. We'll start out testing Verizon, and then uh, we'll do T-Mobile in the middle and AT&T last, just for fun. Before we get started though, we gotta give a shout out to our video sponsor, Circled In. Today's video is brought to you by Circled In. Circledin.com makes it super easy to get the benefits and savings that come along with a postpaid or prepaid wireless account without having to set one up yourself. Let's take just a second to see how easy it is to use circledin.com and save a ton of money on your wireless. Starting out on the circledin.com homepage, I would start by clicking all circles. Once the page loads, you can sort by postpaid or prepaid providers like Verizon, T-Mobile, Google Fi, Simple Mobile, and Metro. If you see a plan that piques your interest or you feel fits you best, you can click join circle read through more details about the plan, and if you decide to go for it, you can click Reserve. Circled In also now supports streaming services like Netflix, Disney, Hulu, HBO Max, and more. Circledin.com, check them out today. Thank you again for supporting the channel. So luckily I was able to find a place to park. We got the uh, Smokestack Macro right across the street over there. And interestingly enough, further off in the distance, in Vestal, you can see a very tall hilltop macro that I've shown you guys before. So anyway, uh, Verizon is probably coming from over there or the small cell that's on the other side of the hospital, although I doubt that. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, if I can get my finger in the right spot there. Let's test Verizon for reference. And then I'll come back and do T-Mobile next. I do not expect impressive results out of Verizon in this particular location due to it being a fairly busy area. And, you know, like I said, there's nothing directly pointed over here. Uh, Verizon does have a uh, in-building repeater system over there in the hospital. And that uh, that is the hospital's new expansion going up over there. It's supposed to be opening in the next couple months, uh, coming months. So Verizon 13.7, 12.8 on the up. The loaded ping times are pretty bad. The, the unloaded is just okay. Uh, let's switch over to, uh, let's switch over to Stenson's new app and see if we do any better testing Verizon over there. Uh, you know, what the heck, maybe I'll do both apps for this video again. <clears throat> I always forget to change the indicator to indoor outdoor driving. It doesn't really matter though. I think it's more or less just to provide more context to the data. So it's not probably not really that big of a deal. Uh, very similar poor results for uh, Verizon. Give me a couple seconds. I'll get this switched over to T-Mobile and we'll see how they do. Well then, we've got T-Mobile all connected. Uh, I gave it ample time to reset itself. I reset all of the apps uh, related to speed testing. And uh, like I said, we got the Smokestack Macro right in front of us here. It's kind of a funny sounding name, Smokestack Macro. It almost sounds like some kind of uh, cigarette addiction or something. But anyway, uh, we've got uh, one sector that appears to be more or less pointed right at us. So. If the extra spectrum is on air on this site, which I have no reason to believe it's not, uh, and good luck finding out in iPhone's field test mode, but uh, here we go. I'm a little excited. I wanna see how fast we can pull off this site, and I'm hoping it's good. All right, we're shooting right up to 500 almost, and we're losing it. Huh, interesting. All right, it's coming back a little bit. Maybe, uh, maybe it hasn't had enough time to get itself back together yet. Or perhaps maybe the sector is not as pointed at me as I thought it looked like. It is a three sector site up there on the macro in case it wasn't obvious from the video. Uh, let's try again. I think, uh, I think we should get better results. 
the ping times are actually pretty high for T-Mobile in this area. 64 is a little bit on the unusual side. Maybe this site is just backhaul limited. Who knows? The upload is certainly impressive. We're hitting 90 megabits per second up. Uh, the loaded ping times are, are pretty good. 228 on the down, that's not bad for wireless. Uh, jitter, 18 milliseconds, or I should say not bad for cellular. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's try Stenson's app next. Give me one second on that. All right. And uh, we'll keep it on the watch. It seems to prefer the Washington DC server for whatever reason, so we'll keep it there. And uh, looks like it's gonna be a little slower over on uh, the coverage map app, 335 on the down and very similar on the up. Hmm. I'm honestly a little disappointed. I thought we were gonna pull multi-gig speeds off the site like we've been seeing on others. Uh, but perhaps it's just not ready. Let me go back to speed test and let me try a different server. Uh, what should we pick? Let's try, I don't know, let's try whatever one my finger just landed on. Armstrong Cable, Addison, New York. Again, somewhat high ping for being uh, on T-Mobile. It's very unusual. And uh, we're, not, uh, we're not pulling anything very impressive off this site. I may just have to go around the block and try a different sector, although I don't know that it's going to make that big of a difference. If I have time, I'll do that. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, upload's a little bit better on this test. Interesting. All right. Let me switch over to AT&T, who I fully expect to be disappointing in this location as well, and uh, see if I can see if my mind gets changed. Okay, we're back and connected to AT&T, and boy, this is going to be a train wreck. I just tried loading uh, some websites just to make sure the connection was was working, uh, and it was, some of the websites wouldn't load, so hold your noses. Here comes a pile of stink right here. Or maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe it'll start working better. 123, terrible ping. We're barely pulling over 5 megabits per second on the down. So clearly uh, AT&T more than likely coming from the macro in Vestal over there. Um, not sure if at and is on the in-building system in the hospital nearby, uh, but they could be, although I doubt it. I'm pretty sure it's only Verizon. 4.51 on the down. <laughs> the loaded ping times are like, I could put the website in an envelope and mail it to myself and it'd get there quicker. Uh, 2.3 on the up, so all the way around, terrible. Uh, let's try Stenson's app real quick here. I doubt this is going to be much different. Okay, terrible ping, 113. And uh, we're going to be getting struggling out of the fives again. Very similar results, 4.7 on the down. And the upload is going to be awful. 1.9. So you may even struggle to watch HD video on this connection. So uh, hey, AT&T, if you're watching, there's plenty of room left on that smokestack. You might want to consider adding some panels to it if it can take the weight. Or here's an idea. The roof of the university uh, uh, pharmacy school looks like it's got plenty of space up there. Maybe they'll uh, let you rent some space and you can help the school out too. But yeah, clearly AT&T needs something here to help it out. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe down below. And like I said earlier, if I, if I find a better spot for this macro, I'll be sure to add it to this video uh, for you. But thanks again, appreciate all you guys. Thank you to everyone who has become a YouTube member as well.